So rumble pelvic dissociation is really important because we need to have that ability to dissociate lumbar spine from pelvis and uh, uh, be able to work them independently. And so a lot of people, especially they have low back pain, they have hip dysfunction, hip pain, uh, a lot of movement dysfunction, they will have an inability to separate the two worlds out from each other. So they don't know how to control this pelvis and their lumbar spine separately. And they, we need to be able to dissociate those and move those together. So there's some simple, easy exercises we can do. One of them would just be kind of a, a, a pelvic tilt. And I teach this a lot. So we go anterior pelvic tilt, posterior pelvic tilt, anterior pelvic tilt, posterior pelvic tilt. We also see a lot with uh, lumbar pelvic, uh, a, 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 a poor lumbar pelvic dissociation is we see a lot of rib flare. So we want to see ribs down and then just can we do these pelvic tilts and move them forward and back. We can also do this in quadruped, right? So we can come here and go sort of cat camels. So these become a really good effective way that we can teach lumbar pelvic dissociation. And then another thing I like to do for this along these lines is we go with uh, straight leg raises. So we can go here, straight leg raise, and then we wanna go circles with it. So we go small little circles, kinda of hard to see from this angle, but we go small circles clockwise, small circles counterclockwise. So if I take this and I go here, I'm going cir uh, circles and raises, both directions. And what you'll find is a lot of people have an inability to make those circles. So they're, they're going to, uh, their circles are going to more, look more like squares or triangles. And, or the other thing you'll see is as people are doing this exercise, we get a lot of hula dancers while we're trying to raise because they can't just isolate the hip and the pelvis from this area. So we really need to work on that motor control, that, that ability to separate the two areas, the pelvis, the hip region. Uh, and that's going to give us the ability to build on that, the motor control for more advanced exercises, more advanced techniques down the road.